Monday night football has left much of the country in agony. Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin remains in critical condition tonight. Hamlin went into cardiac arrest moments after being tackled on the field during the game. Millions watched as the player was given CPR and then finally rushed to the hospital. This tragedy hits close to home for many here in Southeast Texas. Back in 2010, a West Orange Star quarterback died from a rare heart condition after he suffered a seizure on the field. Then about a year ago, a PNG football player was seriously injured on the field. 12 News reporter Simona Barker is here tonight with how this has all impacted the sports world. Jordan, Brenda, moments like this really stay with the community, and in this case, the entire country. I still have my purple number 41 ribbon in honor of Noah Jackson, the PNG football player who was injured during a game in October 2021. The usual rowdy cheers of a football stadium turned into a tense silence as emergency responders rushed to the field during Monday night's game to revive Buffalo Bills' Damar Hamlin. But I just can't imagine... Uh, you know, my daughter, about six years ago out here on this field, I uh, got an ACL tear. And when she went to the ground, she was screaming. And it was, uh, that was terrible. I can't imagine seeing that. Vider football coach Jeff Matthews says seeing a player collapse is every coach's nightmare. But in 2010, that nightmare became reality for West Orange Stark football coach Cornell Thompson. Right behind me on the sideline where I was setting up the uh, kickoff team, and one of my players said, Reggie, and he collapsed on the field. We didn't learn till later on that he had passed away. An autopsy report later revealed Reggie Garrett died from a rare heart disease. It's really, it was really tragic. Like I said last night, I had a flashback last night as to what exactly happened. Thompson says he believes the events of Monday night will lead to a ripple effect of change to make football safer. I believe there will be some changes. Because this is the first thing, first time ever on public, national public television that something like this has happened. More safety measures have been put in place over the years, but Coach Matthews says there will always be a risk for injury. Athletes have gotten bigger, they've gotten faster, they've gotten stronger. We've made a lot of advances in uh, you know, equipment. The helmets are better now than they were five years ago. They're better than they were 30 years ago. But like any other sport, the, the faster they get, the bigger they get, and the stronger they get, those injuries are going to happen. The NFL officially postponed the game between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, a GoFundMe page set up for a toy drive in Hamlin's hometown in Pennsylvania has reached over $5 million. I'm reporting in studio Simona Barka, 12 News. Thanks, Simona. Support for DeMar Hamlin is pouring in not only here, but across the country, actually. Today, Buffalo Bills fans held a vigil for him while he remains in the hospital. Fans gathered outside Buffalo's High Mark Stadium for the prayer vigil this afternoon. Some praying for healing, others praying for peace during this difficult time for Hamlin's family and his teammates. Coming up at 1024, Sports Director Ashley Elam will share more insight into what it's like for a player to return to the field after someone suffers a tragic injury like this.